Good evening. My name is uh, Mark Dalmage, and I have been a loyal Pixel user since the uh, Pixel 1 came out back in 2016. And uh, I have now converted a large majority of my family, who were all loyal iPhone users for years. Uh, three of them still are, but I successfully converted four of them. Uh, three brothers and my both my parents ended up becoming Pixel users. So I lost my vision in 2009. I have a genetic disease called Labor's Hereditary Optic Neuropathy. And I have none of my central vision and just my peripheral vision. And this was in 2009. So for many years, I just thought that the option or ability to use a smartphone just wasn't even a thing because I'm, you know, a big texter. And uh, for many years, I had the LG NV Touch, which had like a full, you know, QWERTY keyboard on there. And I just knew a keyboard perfect enough to be able to text without like, you know, looking at it. And then my text messages, it could read those aloud just by pressing the uh, spacebar button on the, on the phone. So then I began the data girl in 2015, and uh, she, she like wouldn't accept me using a dumb phone and like told me to get a smartphone. So the first one I ever bought was the, uh, the Samsung Galaxy S4 used off eBay in 2015 for like 100 bucks. And I then learned that Android had like the magnification gesture and the phone was was usable but I, I've always been a big Google you know fanboy and so when I saw the first Pixel was coming out in 2016 I bought it and uh, with how amazing the picture and the video quality has been I've been sold on the phone ever since and I obviously in my texting I use speech to text you know with every single thing I do I don't type on the keyboard because that would take me, you know, hours to be able to hit the right letter with, you know, the level of vision I have. And so it used to be a lot more spotty and people would get messages that said a lot of uh, random incorrect things from the messages I sent to them. But now ever since the Pixel 6, when, you know, Google started to use the tensor chip with like the, you know, AI learning capability obviously the 6 and now the 7 is just continued to be even better and I'm uh, very excited for when the Pixel 8 Pro comes out. I've always been sure to get the Pro models because I go to a lot of concerts and take videos at all these shows and to have the optical zoom on my camera was you know very important to me and uh, I'm glad that the video quality on the Pixel has continued to improve year after year and uh, I may have mentioned it before, yeah, I'm taking this selfie on my Pixel 7 Pro, and um, I just absolutely love the phones, and uh, like I said, I had the Pixel 2 XL for, I think, three years. The Pixel 3 just didn't interest me. I got the Pixel 4, and uh, so if it's people from Google uh, watching these videos, you'll know the Pixel 4, the magnification, uh, it was very buggy. Once you zoomed in and you try to move with your two fingers, the screen would freeze up. And uh, I had like contacted Google, and I think they said they were going to look into it, but you know the phone was not usable for me, so I sent it back, and you guys gave me a full refund. Luckily, I didn't trade in my Pixel 2 because it wasn't you know worth that much. Two years later, and um, so I then used that, and then I did get the Pixel 5, which you guys had made the decision to put the mid-range processor in the Pixel 5 and it was more of a you know lower tier processor and the speech to text often did not it would take a very long time for words to show up and that was not much fun to use for that year which is why I then proceeded to upgrade to the Pixel 6 Pro and I was so sold on that phone that I now have the Pixel 7 Pro and I'm now will probably be that individual who upgrades his phone every year because I'm Super excited to see what comes in the future with the Pixel phones because they've just been excellent year after year. So um, that's how I've converted some of my family. Um, many of them now also own Pixels. I think one of them owns like the, you know, 3A. Um, my mom has a 6 and um, yeah, just converted a lot of my family at this point. And uh, that is my Pixel story. And uh, hopefully you guys choose me because I am very pleased with all the um, accessibility 
features and like just like the um, Apple has a very firm like you know hard grip on like the like you know accessibility of the blind community because like I said I have LHON you know labor sedentary optic neuropathy and um, I've gone to conferences now for that condition and every time they do like a technology segment it's all always geared towards like Apple and the iPhone how to do things and it just it makes me so angry and I'm just always so quickly to like kind of stand up and state just so you know all that can be done equally as well or you know the same on an Android phone there's the talkback feature which I don't use that I just use the magnification to you know see all my stuff but the iPhone has like the huge market share on like you know like the blind low vision community but I mean I know that um, there's a selfie feature that like will like you know kind of like help you make sure it's pointed at you I can kind of see right now that my you know face has not been perfectly centered in this video but uh, you guys now know it's because I am legally blind and uh, doing the best I can. Uh, hopefully you guys select me. I didn't even quite remember reading what the uh, the prize is, but uh, I'm very grateful to you know the creators of the Pixel that they've made such a quality phone and uh, look forward to see what's coming in the future. Peace.